Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Many of you probably know that I've been doing a short video series comparing Lightroom's new AI noise reduction, they call it Denoise AI, to the other so-called AI noise reduction applications that are on the market, at least the ones that I happen to own. I've done all of the videos in the series except one. The videos I have done so far is comparing Lightroom's Denoise AI to Topaz Labs Denoise AI, another video comparing it to On One's No Noise AI, and then another video comparing it to DxO's Pure Raw 3. Today, in this the final video of the series, we're going to be comparing all of these applications, but more specifically Lightroom's Denoise AI to Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI. All of the videos are in a playlist. There's a link to the playlist in the description below this video. Also, you could download all of the files I've shown in this series, so you could load them on your computer and determine for yourself which application is best. There's a link to the files in the description below this video as well. All right, I mentioned that today we're going to check out Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI. First, let's quickly recap the results. This is the unedited RAW file. It is a Nikon RAW file shot with Nikon D500, and it had, or it was shot at an ISO of 12,800. And if I zoom in, you can see there's a considerable amount of both luminance and color noise on this image. Right next to it, I have the Lightroom Denoise AI version of the image, and you can see that Lightroom's Denoise AI cleaned up the noise perfectly fine. Next to that, I have um, On One's High Detail Noiseless AI. Now, Noiseless AI from On One has two different noise models. And in the video, I actually didn't use the High Detail model, but I did include the file in the free download of files that you'll get. And this is the file. And you could see that it removed the noise, but there's a bit of blotchiness and a severe color shift, in my opinion, it's severe color shift as well. Right next to that, I have the other AI model that's in on one. It's called the original model, and this is the result from that. And you can see that is considerably better than the high detail model. At least on this image, it was better. Next to that, I have Topaz Labs Denoise AI. You can see that that did a fine job. And then at the very end, I have what I consider to be the best of the ones I've done so far, and that's DxO's Pure Raw 3. I thought it was best because it eliminated the noise as well as any of the others, but it also preserved as much detail as possible. You can see in the, in the beak of the bird uh, compared to some of the other ones. So those are the results so far. Let's take this image and send it in to Luminar's Neo, Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI. Now, there are two different ways to do that. Uh, one is the more conventional way where you could just right click on the image, go down to edit in, and then go over and down to um, Luminar Neo right here, and then edit it in Noiseless AI from that point forward. The, another way to do it, and the way that you would think would be better, would be to go up to a file, and then down to plugin extras, and then over and down to transfer to Luminar Neo. Now, why? I'm thinking that this might be better is because you may remember with the other applications, most notably with DxO's Pure Raw 3, when we did it in this fashion, we preserved the raw format. We got back a DNG file. Unfortunately, with Luminar Neo, this is exactly the same way as if you right-clicked and you went down to edit in. We're going to get a TIFF file back either way. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. I'll just do it this way because I happen to be here at the moment. So we'll transfer to Luminar Neo. No box will pop up. Nothing will pop up with any options. It just automatically opens the image up into Luminar Neo. Now you need to go to the edit panel. And then you'll need to have purchased the uh, noiseless extension from Skylum Software. It doesn't come with Luminar Neo. So it is something extra that you have to buy. So I'll open it up, and you can see that it's uh, recommending that I use the high adjustment. You can see it has low, medium, and high. So we'll take the recommendation and pl click on high. And then it does this kind of thing where it, all these geographic kind of lines and shapes appear. 
then it's done and it kind of zooms in to show you what it did. And you can see it, it, it reduced the noise. There still is a little bit of noise there. There's some blotchiness. Now you do have some options from this point forward. You have the luminosity denoise slider, it's at 50. I could turn that up. There's the color denoise slider, that at two is on 50. I could turn that up or down. Uh, details, uh, to bring back some of the details that might've been lost when you got rid of the noise, you would move this to the right and to add some sharpness, we have a slider there as well. Now I'm still seeing some noise, particularly right around the edges of the bird's beak. Um, and there is some kind of noise in the background still. So I'm going to turn the luminosity noise up. Now what typically I do is the slider goes from zero to 100. So I will just go, since it's at 50, I'll go around halfway and then see what that looks like. You have to wait for it to render. It doesn't take too long in Luminar Neo. There is some color noise still, so I will move that up as well. Uh, again, it's on 50, it goes to 100, so I'll move it to 75. All right, it looks like it, it reduced the color noise adequately, but we still have some luminosity noise in there. Um, and it's sharp, it's okay. I mean, I don't really think I need to bring back any more details because if I do move this slider to the right, um, you'll begin to reintroduce the noise and we want to avoid doing that. So if anything, I'll probably move the detail slider down a little bit because I'm still seeing some noise in here. And sharpness too, uh, same thing. If I move that to the right, I could start to enhance or sharpen the noise that's still left. So I want to be careful there as well. So I'm going to actually maybe just leave that around 20. And I'm going to go to that luminosity to noise and turn that up a little more, maybe to 90-ish in there somewhere. Now I'll drag around. Oh, this is weird. It's because there's this kind of odd pixelation. And I have been experimenting with noiseless AI uh, on various images. And anything that is uh, like this image with a lot of noise, I found I get this kind of weird pixelization in the background. And when you download the files and load it and zoom in, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not sure that you'll be able to see them in the video, but there's some just weird pixelations, uh, like shapes in the background there. And uh, try as I might, I never could uh, get rid of those. So I'm not going to waste time in today's video trying to do that. So I'm just going to click apply. And it will process the image and bring us back into Lightroom. And once it's back in Lightroom, we have the image right at the end. And as I mentioned, it's a TIFF file. So it's unfortunately not a RAW file. So when you use <coughs> Topaz Labs Denoise AI and you l use... Um, Luminar Neo's noiseless AI as plugins in Lightroom, you do not have the option or the ability to preserve the raw format throughout your workflow. With the other apps on one pure raw, um, you're able to do that. So just so you know, now I'm going to rearrange these a little bit. Um, this TIFF file, first I'm going to rename it. Um, we'll call this uh, Luminar Neo noiseless AI. All right, so we'll call it that. And I'm just going to rearrange them. I'm going to put it after the, uh, the Lightroom file. So here is the original RAW file. I'll zoom in again. You could take a look at it. Right next to that is the Loom, uh, Lightroom denoise file. This is the Lightroom list, technically what I'm comparing everything to. And then next to that, we have the Luminar Neo noiseless AI. Back to the Lightroom. Luminar Neo, Lightroom, Luminar Neo. I'm going to zoom out. It seems to be a slight color shift. Lightroom, Luminar Neo. Also, the uh, image is just a touch dark, darker. Now, we, of course, didn't do any processing at all. We could process it from this point forward. Let's zoom back in. Let's go back to that original RAW file with all the noise. There's Lightroom to Noise AI. There's Luminar Neo Noiseless AI. Next to that is on one high detail, no noise AI. Next to that is on one's original, no noise AI. Next to that is Topaz Labs, denoise AI. And then at the end is DxO Pure Raw 3. So if I were to rate these myself, um, I still think that DxO Pure Raw 3 is the best 
And then I would say that next best is Topaz Labs Denoise AI. Then um, next best is Lightroom's Denoise AI. Then next best is On One's original No Noise AI. Then um, it's kind of a toss up between Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI and On One's High Detail No Noise AI, of which one could be the worst. Um, now, again, no noise AI's uh, model that I used here, this high detail, it just didn't work well on this image. It may work better on a different image. And for that matter, any of these um, applications may work better on a different type of image than what is being seen with this image, or they may work worse on a specific image than what is being seen with them being applied to this image. So you need to take everything with a grain of salt and understand that um, what I'm showing you is just kind of an estimation of what they do with one image. Uh, that's why I'm making the, the files available for you to download. You can check them out on your computer and put them in your workflow and see which one may, might work best for you. Um, so that's it for this video. That's it for this series. Thank you. Everyone who watches my videos, I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.